tonight, haven't we? Yes, we have. Me and my swab mob <laughs> have been testing hygiene standards. So tonight, it's the big coffee chains. Ice drinks are a big... big... Sorry, sorry, Steph, this uh, thing. Steph, you might want to watch this because ice drinks feature... In... Heavily. Yeah, heavily. OK. We might be famous around the world for our love of tea, but many Brits are now switching allegiance to its cooler cousin, coffee. The UK coffee industry is currently growing faster than it has in the past 10 years. Between us, we drink more than 2.3 billion cups of the stuff every year. But the market remains dominated by the three big brands. There's Starbucks, Costa Coffee and Cafe Nero, each of which usually has at least one store in every town. Costa, with a total of 2,121 stores, is by far the largest UK chain. Starbucks has 898 and Cafe Nero 650. But you've been telling us that the quantity of these chain shops may not always mean quality when it comes to finding a clean place to eat or drink. Costa Coffee's website says you can always be sure to find a clean table. But Mark Biddle, a regular visitor to his nearest branch, wouldn't agree. So what's your concern with your local store? Like the majority of times you do find like trays on there that are covered in spilled coffee or food on the floor, like half eaten sandwich, um, which is not very nice. Like if you're trying to sit down and, and read a book for 10 minutes, you want sort of all food on the floor and, and dirty tables. When Mark complained, he said he was given an extra 1,000 points on his loyalty card. It was nice to get some free points, but I'd rather them say, OK, well, let's clean the chairs, let's make sure the tables are clean, let's get all the cups away for the customers and make it like a nice environment. So just how clean are the big name coffee shops? To test that out, we visited 10 randomly selected branches of each of the three main chains, Costa, Starbucks and Cafe Nero. Now, the law requires all areas in food serving premises to be kept clean. So, using swabbing equipment, our team collected four samples at each branch they visited, then sent them straight to a lab to check the levels of bacteria. The results were then reviewed by Tony Lewis, Head of Policy at the Chartered Institute of Environmental Health. Is it feasible with the chains that have, like, so many stores, is it feasible for every single one of those stores to be clean? Um, yes, I think the expectation is that they should be. It's the same for any other food business, the requirement is the same. It doesn't matter whether it's tabletops, it doesn't matter whether it's trays or anything else, or the floor, the expectation is they keep it clean. That may be the expectation, but is it what we found? We tested four key areas in each branch we visited. A table, a tray, a high chair and a sample of ice. Starting with the tables, just one of the 10 samples from both Costa and Starbucks had a high bacteria count. Cafe Nero had three. But that's a good result, suggesting most tables were being regularly cleaned. High chairs came off a little worse. Costa and Nero each had three samples with high bacteria counts, and Starbucks just two. What does a high level of bacteria actually mean? Bacteria is everywhere. And most of the bacteria is good bacteria, but a high level of bacteria is an indicative of potential hygiene failure. So overall, reassuring results on the tables and high chairs. But trays were a different story. Here, our samples frequently showed high bacteria levels, indicating a lack of cleaning. Costa was the exception, with only one dirty tray out of ten. But there were six at Cafe Nero. And in Starbucks, nine out of the 10 trays had high bacteria counts. We asked the lab to find out more about the type of bacteria lurking on our trays. And whilst most of the samples tested came back with bacteria that was harmless, three of the six trays from Cafe Nero that had a high bacteria count contain what scientists call faecal coliforms, and at very high levels. Here they are after incubating for a few days at the lab. Absolutely disgusting. They are. What, what are they? The faecal bit indicates their source. Yeah. They come from the gut. They're gut-related. 
So what we're also looking at then potentially is failure of hygiene in relation to people when they go to the toilet. So yeah, you're right, it is pretty disgusting. It's a bit rank, isn't it? Just a bit, yeah. Is there any risk? Absolutely. If you're exposed to sufficiently high numbers um, and you ingest it, you, know, you contaminate yourself by putting your fingers onto surfaces and then to your mouth and you contaminate yourself, then there is a risk of, of, of illness, disease that flows from that. You're concerned, should other people be concerned? Absolutely. Could customers be concerned Absolutely. about it? Absolutely. Absolutely. As the expectation is that we go in and that we're safe. But the most worrying results were on our samples of ice. Hygiene here is even more important, as unlike the surface areas we tested, ice is something you put straight in your mouth. Ice drinks are a huge growing market for coffee shops, with all three chains launching new ranges this summer. So we were shocked to be told by the lab that nearly half of our ice samples came back with significant levels of not just any old bacteria, but again, those faecal coliforms that Tony says are a real risk. It was in three of the Starbucks ice samples and three of Cafe Nero's. But most alarmingly, seven out of 10 of the ice samples from Costa, the biggest coffee chain in the UK, contain significant levels of faecal bacteria. And yes, that's the very ice used to make those new summer beverages. So many people buy those blended drinks, those ice drinks. Yeah. How concerning is this? The levels of contamination with faecal bacteria concerns me a lot. Now, in relation to some of the bacteria that you've found, they are known as opportunistic pathogens, which means they're dangerous. Pathogens are the source of human disease, and you've got significant numbers. So there is concern they should not be there. At but any level? At any level. In fact, so concerning did Tony consider our findings that he advised us to contact Environmental Health for them to investigate further. And when we ran the results past some shoppers in Manchester, they weren't impressed either. We found high levels of faecal bacteria in the ice cubes. What? Really? Yeah, serious. No, that's disgusting. I know. That has shocked me. Yeah. Like, that put me off. Wow. So now I'm not going to finish my blended drink, am I? <laughs> Well, I'll be honest, though, that is minging. <laughs> How does the bacteria get on the ice, then? Proper minging. <laughs> the experts have said <laughs> it's more likely staff who have gone to the bathroom and not washed their hands properly. Now, Steph McGovern, did you ever imagine that I would ask you to hold a scooper and scoop some right, ice? here we go, then. So what would happens you do it is... For me? Go on, right, so explain. basically, if you haven't washed your hands, then even if you haven't touched the ice itself, it would be very cold. You have touched the scooper. So that is how you know, the transfer may have happened. So what are they doing about it? Well, Costa Coffee believes that the contamination is down to the ice scoop being stored in the ice well in the ice. So they have taken immediate action. Uh, they're updating their ice handling guide to provide very specific operational guidelines, which include storing the ice scoop outside the ice well, not inside. They've sent that to all their branches and are also in the process of sending out new ice scoop holders. Now, the stories we visited have already received those and additionally had all their equipment decleaned by an external contractor. So they've done lots about it. This. What about Starbucks and Cafe Nero? Well, all three chains have actually been very proactive on this. They've stressed how importantly they take hygiene and cleanliness, highlighting the high ratings most branches achieve on this and outlining their processes to ensure everything is kept to standard. Cafe Nero and Starbucks told us they've moved quickly to launch their own investigations. Cafe Nero promises appropriate action will be taken and Starbucks says all employees nationwide have received updated training, not just on the ice, which it says staff should never touch by hand, but on all aspects of hygiene. And you just wash your hands when you go to the loo as well. Do you know what I mean? um, well, good work by the swab mob. Thanks. Very Steph. good to hear you. Thank and, you. Uh, sorry if you were watching that while eating your tea. Uh, our swab mob hasn't just been swabbing cafes, though. We will be revealing the dirty secrets of a different industry next week, too. Still to come. Is Ryanair deliberately 